The American Civil Liberties Union is accusing the Obama administration of using statements elicited through torture to justify the confinement of a detainee it represents at the U.S. military prison in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The ACLU is asking a federal judge to throw out those statements and others made by Mohammad Jawad, an Afghan who may have been as young as 12 when he was captured. His attorney argues that Jawad was abused in U.S. custody, threatened and subjected to intense sleep deprivation. During U.S. military commission hearings on his case, a judge found that Afghan interrogators threatened to kill Jawad and his family if he did not confess to playing a role in a grenade attack. Jawad then admitted to participating in the attack. Judge Stephen Henley ruled that prosecutors could not use Jawad's confessions during military commission proceedings. Despite that ruling, Jawad's lawyer, Jonathan Hafetz, says in a lawsuit that the Justice Department wants to use those very confessions to justify Jawad's detention. Hafetz said those statements were tainted because Jawad was beaten, forced into painful stress positions, chained to a wall, and deprived of sleep in Bagram. At Guantanamo, Hafet said Jawad was interrogated more than 50 times and subjected to sleep deprivation. Jawad's situation received attention last year when a military prosecutor abruptly quit his post, saying that the case was riddled with problems and that the prisoner had suffered physical and psychological mistreatment while in custody. That former prosecutor, Daryl Vandeveld, later filed a declaration supporting Jawad's challenge to his confinement in a federal lawsuit.